How's it going there folks? This is Double Tech coming at you guys with a video review of the mini Bluetooth 2.0 keyboard for any smartphone that includes your iPad, your iPhone, even works for PC and Mac. Now you can go pick up this product at budgetgadgets.com, link in the description below. Now this mini Bluetooth keyboard is priced at $22.61. The price may vary on what time you are watching this video, but to me $22 is just too much for this keyboard but you guys will see in the review. So with further ado folks, let's get started. So now let's just see what we get in the package. Now if we just take it out, you guys can see that we get the mini Bluetooth keyboard, which is nicely packed in here. If we put that aside, you guys can see that we have a USB. This one connects to your mini keyboard and charges it up. So we'll just put that aside. And last but not least, you get a CD. This one is a drive for your PC or Mac. This will just install the Bluetooth keyboard so you can use it as your primary keyboard instead of using the computer's keyboard. Now this is very useful if you're quick at typing on a mini keyboard rather than the keyboard on your PC or laptop. So now let's just take the mini keyboard out of the foam itself. And as you guys can see, it has kind of a glossy finish. So that means it is a fingerprint magnet. On the back, it says mini Bluetooth keyboard made in China. Towards the top, you get the USB input with the on and off switch, which will power on the device and turn it off. Now towards the top, you get an LED light, which will show you when it's pairing and when the device is on itself. Now towards the front, you have your regular keyboard buttons, starting off with the numbers on the top, one through nine, and then the zero at the end. You have your keyboard numbers with symbols on top of them. Over here, you have an enter button. You have two shift buttons on the right and the left. You have a space, a delete, an alt control, and an FM, which is this is kind of like the font or it just changes the letters into symbols. So that is mostly the features and outside of the mini keyboard, but we will see on how it performs when it is actually connected to the device itself. Now you guys are probably asking, how do you connect the mini keyboard to your device? So I am using an iPhone 4S for showing you on how to do this. You just simply go to your settings, scroll down until you hit general and you want to go to Bluetooth, of course, because it is a Bluetooth keyboard. Now all you want to do is switch on your Bluetooth on your device. And as you guys can see, this is the keyboard in the background. What you want to do with the keyboard is you want to put down your device, get your keyboard and you just want to switch it on. Once you switch it on, a blue light should appear just like that. What you want to do is tap on it. Once you tap on it, the blue light will start blinking just like that. So once you see that your keyboard is blinking, you want to go back to your device and click on Bluetooth keyboard. It will pop up with a code that you have to put in, 8136. So with this one, all you have to do is put 8136. Once you do that, simply click enter and on your device right here, as you guys can see, it says connected. So once your Bluetooth keyboard is connected, we will try a couple things. Let's try FN and higher and lower the volume. As you guys can see, I'm hiring the volume, I'm lowering it and I can just mute it from there. So that can be very nice if you want to mute your volume, higher your volume. Now, some reason the brightness doesn't work on my iPhone. It may work on your PC or on your iPad, but that is the only problem for my iPhone. Now it does actually type. So now let's just go to my notes and we will see and demonstrate on how this works. As you guys can see, it's blinking right there. Let's just put um, the person, and you do have to be kind of hard on the buttons, person, is going to class. So as you guys can see, let's see if we typed it in right. It says the person is going to class. I click space button two times, but it works fine, folks. There is nothing wrong with it. The functions are all great on this keyboard. As you guys can see, the response is beautiful. All you have to do is tap on the keyboard and it instantly appears on your device. Now another feature that I found is if you click FN and you click play, you will see that your music will be playing, but I currently do not have any music on this device, but as you guys can see, I can hold it down and then click pause again just like that. So the play, fast forward, 
and previous button does work. Now, as you guys saw there, the mini Bluetooth keyboard did perform perfectly and the style is pretty nice itself. This battery will last you up to two days um, on constant using, but if you just use it for a little bit, it may last you up to a week depending on how much you use this keyboard. Now, the one thing that I am not fond of is the size. It is kind of like holding another iPhone in your hand because as you guys can see, the comparison is the same. But with any other keyboard, it will be the same thing, either attached or disattached. For me, I would like a keyboard that is attached to my iPhone itself. But for being a wireless keyboard, this is what you get. It is pretty nice. Now, the pricing of it is not one of the best, but I believe you can find it somewhere else if you search it on eBay, Amazon, anywhere else you guys can find it for a little bit cheaper but if you guys want yours brand new just go visit budgetgadgets.com link in the description below so folks this is mostly it for my video review of the mini bluetooth 2.0 keyboard if you guys liked or enjoyed this video just make sure to rate it a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this just make sure to hit that subscribe button up there it would really help me out so other than that you guys know me i'm apple tech catch you guys in the next one.